Hey guys, Missy Kane here. So glad you're tuning in. We're going to slow things down a little bit, especially the first of the show. And we're going to do like range of motion, things that we really need to do. Or if you're like a hiker like me or biker, walker, we forget to do these range of motions, some Pilates, some yoga type of moves, strength work, um, things that type A people do not slow down enough to do. And Another type A person with me today is Gina Williams, all over the place. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We've been, we've hiked a little bit together lately. We have. And been working a little bit on Subway Race Against Cancer. It's every year in the fall. If you're tuning in and this is in the spring, we also have a big event coming up every spring. That's Games right. on against cancer, right? Game on against cancer. That's yeah. right. It's usually the first Friday in March. Right. Well, we're going to do some big arm circles and exaggerate them and then when we're doing this uh gina we've got a few pictures that we'll show of some things that you like to do in the community and on your own too but that i love con hunley uh, he's, yeah he's, he's great always comes by yeah uh, he likes to he usually plays the blackjack tables so people like to come and play with them been always around march and it's not that expensive all the money goes back to thompson cancer survival center and where were you there What's this picture of? Oh, you and your Cummings, daughter? Cummings Falls, yes. Yes. That was a few weeks ago, actually. Oh, that's Cummings Falls? Yeah, oh, yeah. In, over in Cookville area? Yes. It's beautiful, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. And where are you guys there? Uh, that was another race here, another 5K here locally. Um, we try to participate in other fundraisers in the community, and that was at a local, uh, I want to say Forget Me Not, maybe? I can't remember. And your daughter's uh, 19? Yeah, 19. Okay. She's at Pillisippi. And, that, and that's other events, too. There's events all over, not just with Thompson, but a lot of right. Covenant events um, is all about with women as far as preventative health, and that's something up in the LeConte area. But Gina's been coming with me on some of my Friday fitness hikes um, to stay fit here. But in the wintertime, you like to ski, like right? like to ski, right? My daughter's a big snowboarder, and I snow ski. That was up at Lake Tahoe last year. Fine. I, I'm, my knees are getting a little bit too <laughs> too weak to do that, you know? <laughs> That's but one reason I keep trying to exercise is to stay in fit for the, for the winter sports. Okay, so. we're going to do some <laughs> squats then with uh -oh. Gina today. <laughs> Um, all right, let's do a few warm-ups, too, for our low back. I like to do these where you just kind of twist and your arms go back and forth and kind of flop against your body, your hips on each side. This is kind of a yoga move, child's play, I think they call it. I can't remember. It's good for that low back area. But as far as um, Thompson Cancer, that's where I went. You know, I'm a cancer survivor, mm -hmm. melanoma. Mm -hmm. And so it's really important to talk about not just exercise Gina but you know we can do the exercise and eat right but we've got to get those yearly exams right you know and women need those mammograms a lot of times people think oh I don't need to do that because you know I'm I'm healthy I take care of myself by eating and exercise but you got to do more than that you got to do screenings I mean there uh, you know we've come so far in uh, cancer treatments the earlier you catch it the better so mm -hmm. the screenings are even more important now than they were and so that's a lot. All the money raised uh, for the subway race, that's what it goes for, is to help people in the community get those screenings that can't otherwise afford it. Right. It all goes back locally, mm -hmm. which is a great thing. Let's switch sides here. Um, I know that um, you always have fun race chairs. Um, I, I got to do it with Halloran one year. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. But Ken Schwal is part of it this year. We love Ken Schwal. He is. He has been so much fun. And uh, we just recently did a PSA that you'll probably start seeing. And um, but he's a cancer survivor, yeah. and, mm -hmm. uh, so and then Michael Hodes. Oh yeah, he's been on the show. Michael, he's been on the show. Yeah. And he was he was uh, also ca um, cancer survivor, oh, yeah. and his was found through a screening. So he's mm -hmm. a huge proponent of getting these uh, right. cancer screenings. He's got a book out. He was on my biggest winner team, but an amazing guy. Let's push back and stretch out the hamstring a little bit, and then we're going to start doing some yoga type of moves to kind of work on strength and range of motion and also balance. You know, I think the yoga things really help with the balance and something we don't do just as well. Yeah, I need you know? help with that. <laughs> so we're gonna do other side now, switch a roof. We've got our students in from Pellissippi State um, working on learning more about video production here mm -hmm. and trying to do a little bit of live Facebook too at the same time, so. I'm learning all Gina's about like, that. like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we're live, I <laughs> Okay, let's get a little sip of water. You've got some over there. I've got some over here. And then we're going to do a few more poses to work on strength and range of motion. So let's do the first one we're going to do. 
is we're gonna like face forward, our hips forward, and then all we're gonna do is just come up like this. Our front, front knee is bent a little bit, and we're gonna reach those shoulders up. And our eye gazes is going kinda out and up. Good job, some deep breaths. Great job. And now we're gonna turn, Gene, that back foot a little bit and warrior pose like this. Sometimes I do these on my hikes. I'll make people at their lunch break stop and do these. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, I don't need to do this, but really we, we need more than just aerobic work. Right. Good stretches. And then two, I mean, if we would take a yoga class or a Pilates class every once in a while, relaxation. You know, I think that's part that we forget about too. Deep breath in. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna straighten that front leg and then come back. We're gonna get that right arm behind us and come back like this. Good stretch. Okay, shake that out, and I'm gonna switch sides with you. I'm gonna let you come over here. Okay. I'm gonna come over here so that you can see what I'm doing. Because we haven't practiced a lot. We're just doing this right. off the cuff. You're a busy gal. Um, all the time, I mean, Thompson Cancer, how long has it been around? Oh my gosh. Over 20, <laughs> yeah, over 25 definitely, years, definitely. right? Well, we've been doing the race, the subway race is uh, like in its 24th year, so. I remember first time. starting with that, Gina, back in the early days, a friend of Vicki Fulmer's actually had gone through, uh, Hodges went through cancer and mm -hmm. uh, we had the race, I was one of the race chairs and we were down at Tyson um, Park and we were surprised at how many people came out even the first year. I mean, really? it's always been a really big race. And the cancer survivor tribute is really special, I think. Yeah, that is neat. A few years ago, we um, added the uh, drum line Mm -hmm. We have a um, Roan County High School band drum line comes and leads the survivors over from the where they take the pictures over onto the stage and we recognize all the survivors. It, yeah, it's very moving. I mean, because that's the name of the game. There's so many more survivors. Now, right. You know. Lift up a little bit higher if you can. Now turn that back foot and the front foot is still um, facing forward and knee bent. I'm trying to think of really being strong here strong now does your daughter like to do some yoga and different things like this she does she mm -hmm. does some with me she's very active and she always played sports in high school but snowboarding like I said that's her big thing so, so I have to stay in shape to keep up oh with her yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing now we're going to take that back arm Gina and kind of just pull back Knees more straight and see it. This is a really good stretch of the hip flexor. Good job, everybody. Okay, shake it out. We're going to switch switch places and get your water. I'm not going to drink your water there. How did you? I was going to ask Gina how you started out with your job. Oh gosh. I've been in fundraising for, I don't want to say how long, 30 years. <laughs> so but I guess it, it's easy but, if it's uh, something that you believe in. Yes, and been with a couple different causes, but, mm -hmm. um, but I love being at Thompson Cancer Center. But I've always done events and mm -hmm. different kinds of events. I've done a lot of golf tournaments over the years right. and um, the races and the game on, though, is kind of new for me. So that's different and fun. It is um, a fun event. Uh, and not a lot of money. It's like 50 bucks and... You get to play games against some neat athletes, Jeff Jacoby. Local celebrities. And, local celebrities. <laughs> and it's really a lot of fun. It, it really is fun. Is. It's a different kind of event. It's, uh, it's, it's a great I don't idea. think there's anything like it here in Knoxville. It's, um, it's at games and things, and people can come and uh, play all different kinds of table tennis, pool, mm -hmm. darts, I do shuffleboard. Darts, we're going to do a little squat <laughs> as we're talking. We're going to, because we've got to get Gina ready for ski season. <laughs> so we're going to do some and squats we, like this. Yeah. And then as we're um, doing this, we're going to lift up like this. Derriere is leading in the back. 
a physical therapist told my youngest daughter, Gracie, to do this um, for some imbalances, and she's a runner and also a swimmer. And they said this is a really good chair type. It's called chair pose, but it feels kind of awkward at first, but it's good for you back. Can you feel it in your back? I can. Too? I can feel it in my back. We're gonna hold this a little bit longer. Good job, everybody. And relax that. Okay, stand up, and I want you guys to bring those arms behind you and pull them back. And then we'll go back down to that chair pose. I know you all have before the um, subway race. I know that a lot of times people kind of warm up doing Zumba and stuff. That's mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, we always have Zumba or jazz or so. I'll let you work on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he would love it. People though. come just to, to, and the great thing about uh, this race too is that it, it's a non non timed version which I'm doing because Gina I don't run so right. if I get in a timed one I think I'm a runner <laughs> and so I've signed up for the non-timed one yeah you can do timed you can do untimed uh, we also have a, a just a walk in the park which is less than a mile I think right there on the World's Fair site um, we also have a, a nap version <laughs> where you can sign up uh, just to stay home and but you can still get you know your t-shirt and get people to support you in that as and well. And you get a coupon, I know, from Subway. Right. Subway's been really good. Right, they have. They've been awesome. Local partner. So there's really no reason people can't participate at one of those levels. Okay, now stand up slowly and again, bring those arms behind you, stretch out the shoulders. Keep the shoulders down though when you're doing this. And then another one we could do, and then we're gonna start doing some weights too, a little bit harder. This is like uh, eagle or pose or something. See how I'm doing this, you're kind of twisting your arms like this. It's good for your shoulders, and also wrist. Let them swing, other side. And you do a lot of hikes with your dog too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. try to. Mm -hmm. We and did. I saw some dogs at last year's um, Subway Race Against Cancer, Dogs on a Leash. That We're very dog friendly. I know. Yeah, yeah. Pet Safe, Pet is, Safe is, is a huge there. sponsor, yeah. and they always have a big tent and uh, bring lots of stuff. They have uh, giveaways and water for the dogs. Mm -hmm. and So, yeah, we're pet friendly as long as we're on a leash. All right, relax, a little drink of water, and then we're going to do some strength work here coming up. Okay, you guys can grab some light weights. You got some fives over there, I think. Why don't you grab Please those? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab these. They're a little heavier, but not much, but I think that's one of the <laughs> ones option. Okay, we're gonna do some um, weights too in the middle of this, and we'll come back to some Pilates towards the end. But on this one, we're gonna start out here, and you want your derriere behind you. So you want it sticking out in the back, chin kind of up, and then we're gonna come up to the shoulders, and uh, it's kind of like a clean and jerk move with a bar come up overhead shoulders and back down then we're just going to keep on going so it's shoulders push up shoulders and down shoulders up shoulders and down and i was really i didn't go into my story but when um i went into for a routine check uh a skin check with dr grande she's with dr meredith overholt as well and I'm blue eyes, I'm fair, and I know I need to do these. And I went in and she found a weird spot on the bottom of my foot. And we thought, well, you know, I'm active. Maybe this is, you know, a wart, planter's wart or something. When she froze it, she said, if it doesn't go away, come back, which I, it didn't go away. So I came back and sure enough, um, the biopsy showed, she called me within that day. Yeah. And she'd already called Thompson because I had told her when she, when I first put down that, Thompson and she recommended Dr. Greg Midas, who's great. Oh, yeah, and, but if they hadn't caught that, I probably would have been dead within a year. Oh gosh. That's why screenings are just so important and we're always trying to educate people about the importance of getting the screening and then like I said, try to help them um, you know, get the screenings if they need that help. And I even went ahead later. Uh, my mother died of ovarian cancer and my sister had breast cancer. So I did the BRCA 
gene study. Oh, did you really? And it was negative, which was a blessing, but uh, that's something new on the horizon, too. Yeah, Two more of these. One more. Doing good out there. And set them down. I'm going to set mine. I don't have a lot of room up here. Let's see where I can move these. A little drink of water, maybe a little sip. Okay, in between we're gonna go down kind of back and forth with weights and uh, some planks, some core moves. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna move down to our step or the floor or the countertop. And we're gonna do a, just a basic plank. Try to keep your body nice and flat. We're gonna do this for about 20 more seconds. This looks so easy, doesn't it? No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> 15 more seconds, doing good. I tell people if they would do five minutes of a mixture of this and some side planks every other day, mm -hmm. it really would make a difference. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, now all fours like this. And we're gonna do like a cat-cow where we're gonna have our back in a rounded position and then flat. Good job. Pull it up. And flatten. Great job. And you guys do, you work on a poinsettia project in the Christmas time area? Yes. Yeah, so time uh, of year? Down, uh, we have a big poinsettia tree. It's about 175 poinsettias. Mm -hmm. uh, we put in a big tree for them there at Thompson Cancer downtown. And um, people can make donations for those for in memory or in honor of mm -hmm. a loved one and do that at Christmas time. And everybody loves the poinsettia tree. Well, last year we did also did one at LeConte. We're going to mm -hmm. try to do that again. Okay, so. good. LeConte is part of my Get On Trails with Friends and Missy. I was at a hiking 101 last night, and um, the great thing about that is um, they people love to go to the Smokies and and hike but they fill up it's a good and bad problem we already are almost full all my fall hikes and we do them in the spring too in april um, and i think people just want to know where to go mm -hmm. and you know don't want to go by himself of course it's dangerous but i think gina's got the hiking bug now too i do it's your fault <laughs> <laughs> all right we're doing good out there just about 10 more seconds guys you can do it keep breathing hold this plank position almost like a prayer position like we can do it we can do it job all fours again now this one Gina we're gonna do I call it like a bird dog where it's gonna be opposite like if I took take my right arm and point it then my left leg is back and we're gonna hold that in about five seconds and then switch a roof other side and you want to tighten your derriere hold about five seconds switch again great job At least now it's getting really good hiking weather, is it? Oh, I know. Yeah, we, um, the summertime, that is not my favorite time to hike in the summer. <laughs> and, it, and when it's just 90 degrees, I do shorter hikes. But, you know, one of my, one more time through each side, my favorite time to hike really is the winter. Really? You can see out so much better. That's true. And last switch, and then we'll go back to... Our weights. Good job, everybody. You can do it. All right, come on up and get those weights again. All right, I'm going to use one weight this time. All right, I'm going to give you one of these orange weights too. We're going to do some leg work at the same time, some tricep. So what I want y'all to do is we're going to have our weight up high like this, and then we're going to come down in a little bit of a squat, and then back up squat and as we're doing that we're letting that weight go behind our head act like you're sitting back good about eight more of these we can do it good job and we you went to an obstacle course race this year didn't you with your dog we did it was down in alabama and um it was a canine biathlon and had 10 water obstacles and a lot of different... And you met my friend Carol Osborne. We yeah. did. <laughs> that was kind of ironic. 
Went you all the way a to Alabama. German Al Shepherd, right? Yes. Two more. Went all the way to Alabama to meet somebody from Knoxville. Last one. But it was a lot of fun to do with the dog and it had all the water obstacles and had to climb over cars and hay bales and oh, in water wow. ditches. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. So that'd be kind of hard. I was up in Cumberland Gap this past weekend and there's a new dog park in Cumberland Gap, Tennessee. And it had a dog park with obstacle courses. Oh. So you need to take, we need Carol to check that take out. the dogs up there. It'd be fun. Yeah, Carol, I, she's great about taking her dog a lot. So. Yeah, Tara's like uh, her sidekick. We're going to get down on the floor again. Instead of front planks, we're going to do side planks. Now let me show you how we do them. We're going to go like this. And we're going to stack our feet together like so. So you can kind of face me to see what I'm doing. Stack our feet together. And we're on our forearm here. Now we're going to lift up, arm up. And we're just going to hold this for about uh, 10 seconds and take a break, go down and come back up. It's killing it's my hard. elbow. <laughs> it's harder. Go down for a second. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, now on this one, let me show you what the uh, uh, alternative is. Is you can go like this and you can push up like that. So let's we'll see if we can do that. And up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Good job. Now, spin yeah, around. It's hard for me. Spin around. <laughs> feet like this. And we're going to do a little bit of ab work while we're here. So I've got my feet crossed. And all we're going to do is come back and lift up. Come back. Here we go. <coughs> Good job. And up. We're going to do about two more of these. Last one. <coughs> Now we got to do the other side, so you got to <laughs> you're gonna face that way, and we're stacking our feet. And you're on your side. Okay, now lift up for like ten seconds. I'm really making Gina work today. You are. <laughs> it's good though. And you yeah, you can do the alternative like that, guys out there, or this way. Come back down for a second. Last ten seconds, we're doing this. I promise. And back up. Good job, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo! Good workout. <laughs> Let's get it. We're going to come up and stretch it out towards the end. Okay. I'm sweaty, and I even said we weren't going to sweat a lot, but we did. <laughs> Big arm circles. I'll have to have your daughter on the show, but she's busy, I bet. Yeah, we can make her get in here, though. And we're going to go back to that front first thing we did, kind of back and forth, kind of back and forth. It's good for that low back, a little range of motion. And we're going to stretch out the legs now. So we're going to get in a lunge position. We can put one leg up here, lunge position like this, stretching out. And if we lean back a little bit, Gina, we're going to feel it right in the hip flexor. So. Mm -hmm. We're gonna lean back. And the back foot, our back foot should be, try to get that heel pushing into the floor and it'll stretch our calves a little bit. Good job. And let's switch to the other side. Lunge. Heel flat in the back and lean back a little bit at the waist backwards and you'll feel the hip flexor. We got just a couple more minutes, guys. It goes by quick, doesn't it? It does go by quick. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready for another workout. And if people ever want to, if they're watching this show and if you're training for a 5K or the subway race or uh, something else, I know uh, my daughter's coming on next to uh, Humana 5Ks in the wintertime too. And there's, of course, the Covenant Health has a 5K. Right. I always have training programs that people can um, email me or go to my Facebook page and message me and I can send them back um, just tips of what to do. I've been doing that with my, I have a train with a cane team. Right. <laughs> so I've been glad to do that. All right, a little bit of a stretch for that hamstring like this. Toe up, heel down. Stretch it out. But, you know, I think having things, goals, to do a race, especially if it's a race that you're helping other people too, I think it's a way to keep people fit. Right, it makes you get out and mm -hmm. wanna, having a go like, like I said, just 
trying to keep up for all the 5Ks and skiing in the winter. It keeps me right. trying to keep going. Well, it's like <laughs> my hikers. If they know they're going to do LeConte, they better get right. in shape beforehand. You can't just go out and do it. So, Well, good job, everybody. Um, if you have a certain area that we didn't stretch out and you need to stretch it out more, take the next couple of minutes and do that. Um, I want to thank Gina Williams for being on the show. Thanks Great for job. having me. Yeah, thank Great you. Job. We'll see you on the trail, I bet. Yeah, and at the race, too. <laughs> see you guys on Fit and Fun next time here on PBS. Okay, now a little stretch like this again. And arm across. And other side.